So welcome to the first episode. I've been meaning to do this for a while, but now seems the right time. So today we're starting off with painting Confederate miniatures. Uh, the ones that I'm going to be using are from the uh, Black Powder Epic uh, game. And, and we're going to be taking you through the whole process uh, from how I start, how I do the research, all the way through to the culmination of actually having the miniatures ready on the table. So what sort of products do I use? Usually I start off with uh, Wattle um, cheap spray paint. Uh, for the Confederates I'll go with the grey just because they're uniform predominantly grey and so it's a pretty good background. Uh, paints I use Vallejo colours. Uh, I think they work. I like them. Easy for me to get hold of but any paints really will do the job. Uh, I use a mixture of PVA and Mod, Mod Podge uh, just for basing mainly. The isopropyl alcohol, again I use that at the end on the basing. Uh, the tools, the clippers, uh, again you're really just for cleaning up your models and getting them ready for basing. The matte medium and the flow improver, I use those when I'm making black wash later on. So when it comes to gathering the research materials, it really depends on the individual. I mean, I'm a bit of a stickler in that I like uniformity and I kind of like my army to look the way it would in an idealized way. So if I'm painting Confederates, I like them all to have the nice, crisp, clean gray uniform uh, rather than what was more realistic at the time, especially by later war where there were butternuts, greys, blues, any colour the guys could get their hands on. Um, but again, mainly I like my troops to look pretty uniform. So if there's a specific regiment, I'll do some Google research, I'll look for reference books. Uh, most of the information is there if you do a little bit of time on it. Otherwise, the Warlord game box does come with a uh, reference sheet, which is the one on the left-hand side.
Well, that brings us pretty well to the end. So I hope you've found it interesting. And I'll hope to see you next week when we go over how I do the union troops.